Greetings people, thanks for tuning in. In this video series you are watching my custom guitar design and build for the Great Guitar Build Off 2020 The Unofficial Contest. In the last video when I poured the epoxy on the guitar top I made a big silly mistake. If you want to find out if the guitar build is doomed or whether the guitar survives, continue watching. So far, we've poured the epoxy in the voids and cracks and it has cured enough for us to work on it. But like I mentioned in my previous video, I made a big mistake when I poured, poured the epoxy. And if you remember, we had masked off the backside of the, of the top, the, the cracks and the voids, so that when we pour the epoxy, it doesn't flow into the cavity. But, and what a silly mistake, I completely forgot there are wiring channels connecting the cavities and some of these cracks actually open up into those uh, wiring channels. I don't know if it's visible, but uh, th there's the wiring channel that connects the control cavity with the bridge pickup and, uh, and when I poured epoxy in these cracks, <laughs> where, where is it going to go? It, it went into, into the wiring channels and some of it flowed out from the wiring channel into the control cavity. Now I can clean up the epoxy uh, but, but my concern is how much epoxy has solidified into the channels and do I even have room for wiring to go through it so so that's what we're going to try to diagnose and see if we can treat it somehow and, and uh, salvage the guitar. The first thing I want to look at is whether the channel connecting the control cavity and the toggle switch cavity whether that is open so let's push this wire through and see how we do. And we have a winner. This is pretty good and there is enough slack in the channel uh, which tells me that I have plenty room in there for the wiring. As far as the channels connecting the control cavity with the pickup cavities are concerned, I will just have to route the pickup cavities and uh, then see whether those channels are, are uh, usable or not. Now that we have the pickup cavities routed, let's see how much damage I did to the wiring channels with the epoxy fill. All right, here we go. It actually looks pretty good. In fact, the channel for the neck pickup does not have any uh, epoxy leak in it. Uh, there's about a millimeter, a couple millimeters uh, deep epoxy uh, leak on the channel for the bridge pickup but I think there is a lot of space for uh, for the wiring to go through so let's check that all right here goes the neck pickup let's see if we have wire on the other side yay the channel is patent all right checking the bridge wiring channel and we are in business the guitar is not dead we can continue with this build 
everything looks good and the guitar is now back on track but I'm still faced with the problem how do I fill these cracks with epoxy without the epoxy flowing into the channels for the wires Okay, this epoxy pour was not a very clean, not a very tidy job as you can see. Lesson learned is that next time I'm going to glue a veneer between the guitar body and the top so that the veneer will cover all the cracks and voids uh, from the bottom and uh, prevent this mess from happening. So lesson learned.